fans. I am so excited to be here in, in a Facebook live setting today. Um, I got this brainchild about, about Trainertainment Thursday think tanks because my sister has inspired the dog out of me. This is my real life sister. This is Deanna Lombardo. Uh, she's the baby sister, just so you know. I'm the old one. She's the young one. And um, they say the youngest member of the family always makes the best salesperson. I don't know if you know that or not, but uh, Dee Dee is actually uh, a tremendous salesperson. She works for iCruises.com. And if I don't get it right, Deanna W. M M P H W M P H. Um, she sells. We make people happy. Oh, I'll never forget that. Now we make people happy. I love that. Um, D, how long have you been selling cruises for these guys? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. I, I knew it had been a long time, and um, she's been recognized as the number one salesperson. And just two years ago, broke the all-time record and sold wait for it three over three million dollars worth of cruises right in a year in a single year so yes it, it's funny uh my sister and i haven't had gobs and gobs of contact in our adult life she lives in florida i live in texas but one of the things that really connects us is that um, passion and love for a career in sales and d i know that sales has made a big difference in your life hasn't it Absolutely. Yeah, you know, one of the reasons I, I wrote the book, People Buy From People, if you're not aware, this is a brand new book. It just launched last month. Um, I don't even know that it's been a full 30 days on the market yet. Um, but one of the reasons I wrote it is because I do think that a career in sales has a great, uh, like affords people of all kind, <laughs> a great opportunity to change their financial future and to create more freedom in their lives. And I especially think it's true for women. I mean, I've made my living and my life that way and my little sister has done the very same thing. And so she was one of the very first ones to, to do the pre-purchase. Oh, I swore I wouldn't cry. She, she, <laughs> she didn't just she did his pre-purchase. She was in one of the very first few days and I was like, oh, Deanna, thank you. And I was like, why did my sister buy a book? Certainly I would have given her a book. And then in just a minute, another order came over because she sent a book to our other sister, Cindy. Hi, sis. <laughs> I hope Cindy's out there watching us. So, um, and so because Deanna was one of the first ones to buy a book, she's been one of the very first ones to give me any feedback. And so Dee, I'll turn it to you. What, what did you think? Loved it. <laughs> loved it, loved it, loved it. What can I say? It's my sister who wrote it. Come on. <laughs> but no, honestly, that aside, even if you wouldn't have written a book and I would have read it because you gave somebody else the idea. I think it was absolutely amazing. You know, as a salesperson, we always, like you said in the book, you become in a rut you do the same thing over and over 15 years down the road you're still doing the same thing and as a classically trained salesperson you know um we have scripts which i'm not a script follower because it comes from here the heart because that. it's truly meant exactly like it says so um the thing i had the most trouble with in our sales presentation of what we do is the probing stage, the investigation yeah. stage, yeah. because I'm not a prober. I'm not an investigator. That is not who I am. It's none of my business. However, in the book, when you listed it as don't be probing, don't investigate, be curious, because that shows people you care. Using the curiosity has made me now be able to probably pass my quality assurance, which I'm never able to do because I don't like that probing. But being <laughs> curious, <laughs> being
being curious about somebody lets them know how much you do care. You get all the information you need from the probing and investigation step, but you don't have that heavy on your heart because you're just curious. And that was my key takeaway from the book. Just be curious. And in being curious within three days, you know, our company average is maybe two to three bookings a day. Yeah, yeah. In the first three days of reading that book, mind you, one of those were my day off. I booked 23 (laughs) cabins. I know. I, I, I said, sis, get your pen ready. You need to start writing. Oh my. I know. That's what she told me, guys. I talked to her last Thursday and she said, when's the next book? Get get to writing. <laughs> you know, it it was incredible. I, I couldn't believe it. I talked to Cindy, if you're out there, hello. I, I talked to Cindy like on Sunday or Monday, which was in these three days. Maybe it was Tuesday after uh, Dee had had the 23 bookings in in three days. And I said, I said to Cindy, I said, Oh, D, D read the book. She sent me the sweetest text and it, I'm just shocked. And she just seems to get so much out of it. And she's a super saleswoman already. And Cindy said, Oh, you don't know the half of it. She's <laughs> booked, she booked like 20 something cruises in the three days. So man, I'm then texting Deanna and, and, uh, and if you follow me on Facebook, you saw the, the text and, uh, I just, I, I couldn't have been more excited, Dee. If if no one reads this book but you, <laughs> I've done my job, <laughs> you know, and, and I just, it, it's so, it's so exciting to me to know that you do have so much classical training uh, and that the curiosity phase uh, is different, feels different than that probing. It's funny, language is interesting, isn't it? Probing does sound like something you're doing to somebody. Curiosity, yeah, curiosity, I like the way you said it, that curiosity makes it feel like you care, you know? It does. um, Yeah, and so uh, I I know you got a call from your, um, your, your manager, like on Monday or yeah. Tuesday, right? What, what, what was, yeah. he wanted to know what the heck was going on? You were on fire? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. what's going on? You are on fire. I said, well, it's this fabulous new book I just read. As we're talking on the phone, he's on Amazon getting one for himself. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Well, I, yeah. uh, I, I'm, I'm excited. I hope, I hope y'all will spread the book around. I hope I'll get invited to come do a, a a presentation. I know y'all have a a Thursday sales meeting. I'm, I'm up for grabs. You let them know. I'd be happy to talk to the, to the sales folks. So so what's your goal? How do you, how do you set goals, D? Um, Do you have any strategies where you're doing outbound? Are you only responding to inbound? What, I mean, what sales advice would you, from a lady that sells over $3 million worth of cruises, uh, what sales advice would you give? Because I know there are a bunch of folks out there that are watching that are in that have sales as a career. Um, I think the most important thing is first believe in yourself. Okay. Because anything your mind can conceive and believe you can achieve. Positive affirmations. Set your goals. Set your goals daily, weekly, monthly, short term, long term. Set your goals. Good. Whether whether you make them or not, have them in front of you and always continue trying. That's great. That's great. When what do you do? You'll always you, win. Yeah, what do you do? What, I know. It's like you either win or you learn something, right? So, That's right. I love that. Yeah, I wish I'd have made it up, but I didn't. I think John Maxwell said it. So he's wonderful. <laughs> uh, it, you, you, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, he says. But um, uh, what... Um, what do you do when you get behind? Uh, because there's no salesperson in the world that hadn't gotten behind before. I get up at four in the morning and I hit the computer. I'll stay late, work, you know, after dinner. Y- you just do what you have to do. That's great. We do call a numbers. Numbers. 
Yeah. Oh, I, I agree. And anybody that says it's different, you know, there are people out there that, that want to act as if, you know, the cold call is dead and old sales no. things don't work. And that's not true. It is a numbers game. And the salesperson who shows up is the one mm -hmm. that'll win because so many just that's won't. The person that shows up, follows up, that's the one that's going to win. So I love it. I just love, love hearing you, you say that. I didn't know what you were going to say to that. So do you, are you, do you cultivate the relationships? Do you have lots of rebookings? Do you have to reach out to those people or do they just call you? Thank you for asking. That's a great question because in the last three or four years, we have been solely focused on really cultivating our repeat and referral yeah. business. Yeah. And it was way, way low when we first started. And yep. happy to say that I have hit over the 50% mark at this oh, point. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and it's, I'm actually taking, thank goodness, the company we work for, we have sufficient leads. We don't have to do a tremendous amount of cold calling, but we do reach out to the clients who are online, whether they want us to or not. But um, we so reach you get the documentation the that somebody was looking. That's right. That's right. So we call up and we talk to them and it, it's the, I'm telling you, I just keep going back to it, but the curiosity of it all, it just yeah. has made the world of difference for me because I think I was stuck in that rut of the same thing all the time, but just hearing the little vocabulary of it and just looking at it in a different way, a lot of times in sales is what you need to get over the hump. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm, I'm delighted. Like I said, I, I, there's not, I, I can't think of anything better um, than to have had the influence <laughs> that, that the book had on you, sis. And I can't wait to see, I mean, we're only halfway through the year. You, you, do you think you might break the $4 million mark? I don't know. I've been a little lax. I have a new granddaughter, you know, oh, Mademoiselle Lily Pie. Yeah, she's delicious, and she has taken a lot of my sales time. Oh. But um, okay. <laughs> luckily, think, yeah, yeah, luckily, I've been here 15 years, and, and they're not minding that I'm enjoying my granddaughter. So oh. it is all about family, and um, maybe not this year, but definitely going to put it on my 2020. Oh, good. To good. make four grand. That's my goal for 2020. Four million. Four million. I knew what you meant. <laughs> I knew what you meant. You knew what I meant. I do. Well, anything else? Anything else? Any other piece of advice? Anything you wish you would have known 15 years ago that you know that you know today um, that you would share with the audience? Um, I think that as a salesperson, you know, you do get very busy and developing your shtick, if you will. And um, I think that your reading list in the book was oh. very, very helpful Good. because I realized that I'm so involved with family and work and I just don't have time anymore, but you do. You do have time. Good. And it's very, very important you just read other people's views, other people's yep. thoughts, because you never know when it's that one little yep. word who can make a difference from two bookings a day to 22 in three days. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> what more proof do you need? I, I, I do love that. That's the other thing Cindy had said to me is, he says she's going to read every one of those books she realized she wasn't reading and um it i i know that i will i'll strap on uh head, headset and go take a 30 minute walk I, I that's when i do tons and tons of my reading i will eventually get the book people buy from people uh on on audible i uh, i've got that as a as a goal it's not there yet but it is on amazon now jb uh our wonderful coach on our team and has been with the entertainment company since the very beginning. He's out there running our Facebook live. JB, are there any questions or anything like that? I'm not smart enough to figure out how to be looking at Facebook to see what's going on live here. Is there anything that we could answer for anybody? 
You're probably muted, buddy. Yes, I was. Uh, no, <laughs> no, there's no questions at this time. Okay, fantastic. Well, um, certainly if you've got questions of my sister or of me, uh, you and you see the video later, go ahead and just uh, type them to us. Deanna, you'll have to check the Trainertainment uh, fan page often to see if you can, we'll can do. give us. So thank you so much, sister. I love you and I appreciate you coming on live with me today. My pleasure. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.